Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back. So today we are doing a setting powder review. I did not, I wasn't like sure how to format this because it's just a setting powder, but I wanted to review for you guys. And today I have the Jacqueline Cosmetics, so Jacqueline Hills Cosmetic Line Setting Powder. Now they had tons of different shades in these. They said they were really or a lot of people were commenting that they're really for like light complexions but since I have a really hard time finding setting powders that work for me that are not yellow based I was excited to see one that came in lavender and pink so I picked up the brightening pink one because the guide on their website made it kind of clear which one you would need for what problems so I got the brightening pink color here this was $29 plus $5 shipping and then like Florida tax and everything so it's $29 I do wish there was a little bit more product in here this is 0.21 ounce of product or 6 grams it came in this little silver pretty box. It also came in a giant box for being a small setting powder, which was kind of weird. And then here is the units for the setting powder, which is really nice, actually. I like the frosted glass, and it looks really cute. So, overall, I'm ready. Like, it's going to be a pretty straightforward review today, but I'm ready to try it out. So, let's go ahead and get started. One quick note before we get started, though, I do want to mention that my brand, The Open Crypt, has these cute moon earrings out now. They're so cute. I love these. I know they're kind of lost with all this hair I'm wearing today, but, like, we just released these. They're, I made them for a really good price. I try to, like, bring the price down as best I could for these things. They're so pretty, and they're super comfortable, and if, like, you have your hair up, I was thinking about trying to do, like, a thin hair space bun moment. I thought this would be, like, really cool, like, pop for that, but we have new crescent moon earrings. They're only $5.99 for the pair, and I will leave my website link down below, of course, if you guys want to check them out. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. For this review of the Jacqueline powder, I'm going to do a little bit more than a review. I'm going to walk you through my full base face. As you can see, I don't have anything on like skincare wise. I'm walking through my base face. We'll check out the powder, see what it looks like through different stages of my makeup routine. And I'll give you like an overall synopsis of what I think at the end as well as like a little bit of a wear time test. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, y'all might know that like I'm wearing extensions today. They look really cute. So these are from Irresistible Me. They sent me a darker pair and then I changed my hair to orange. I was like, oops, can you send me like a lighter pair? So these are platinum blonde that I dyed orange. My hair right now is like a yellowy light orange. It's kind of faded. So I went ahead and like dyed these like the dark normal orange that I usually have. And I kind of like the peekaboo moment coming from like underneath the yellow at the moment. So these are the 14 inches. They have a little bit of curl at the end. I curled them a little bit. And they were platinum blonde and I dyed them. They looked really good. And they kind of like the mix of colors right now we have going on with like the peekaboo. I think is really cute. These feel really nice. They were really easy to dye. It was really easy to wash and everything. The quality was good too. And like for the price tag, I think it's a really good deal. So irresistible me extensions in my hair right now. And I may wear these on my wedding day. Like if my hair is like the same color, because I'm not going to keep this yellowy color. I was just testing it out. I may wear these and like curl them, see how it looks as like a wedding day cute curly moment. I actually don't own a curling iron, so I need to like go buy one, maybe buy a beach waver. I'm not sure, like the knockoff beach waver and like do that for my wedding. I'm not sure, but these hair extensions look really cute and I like the moment I'm doing right now because I never have long hair. My hair has never been this long naturally because it just breaks and it's bleh and it's fine. So I thought this was cute. For primer, I'm using the Milani Chill Out Soothing Primer. Just... So it's a little more calming to the skin and I feel like my skin's been a little bit irritated lately and I don't want it to go down that bad route again. So I'm going to use this as my primer. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Pretty Fresh Foundation from ColourPop. It's like a tried and true. Like this is one of the, I use it like two or three times a week. It's like a really good go-to foundation for me. So I'm going to use this and it's more of a medium coverage. I made a mistake. I accidentally got foundation on my wing and I'll have eyeliner in here. Oh well, so it's fine. Uh, for concealer, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the creamy shape tape and then we'll be ready for our setting powder. I'll be using the creamy one today just because it's just easier to blend out and I'm being a little bit lazy, honestly. Like after I put in the extensions and I tried to curl and mix it in with the regular hair and everything, I was kind of over a lot of effort for today's look. <laughs> Okay, so I'm cleaning the extra product off of my sponge off the tip of it because I'm going to set my face now using the Jacqueline powder. So I ordered the brightening pink one. This bottom actually isn't lay flat. I don't know why it's weird to me, but it's like indented on the edges. I really like that. I'm not sure why. The plastic packaging on the top isn't my most favorite in the world, but it definitely does bring the price down, which is good. And then here we have the setting powder and I have not opened it yet. Now, when I first opened it up and looked at it like this, Let's, if I can turn it like that, maybe it's more realistic to what the color is. It's very, very pink in person. I will insert a clip of what it looks like in natural lighting, but it looks very dark pink. Now, on the website, I made it very clear, like, what one you want for what reason. Like, I was originally going to get the lavender color, but then it said it's going to be better for me 
with my undertones and my dark circles and everything to use a pink one so I'm using the pink one today I got the brightening pink and this is just a regular setting powder so before everyone gets on my case about setting my whole face with it because she also has like a press powder situation this is a regular setting powder you can use for your entire face so I'm gonna go ahead and like give it a shake get some product on the top now we broke the seal and it doesn't look I mean I'm again studio light so it doesn't look dark on camera but to me it looks like a dark apricot pink color and I'm a little nervous it's gonna be a little too dark but let's go ahead and see so firstly I'm gonna set my under eyes so make sure it's not creasing I'm gonna tap my sponge into our powder and I love to set my under eyes like this so I'm gonna pack it on okay okay seeing it on my face is so different so I was super nervous that this was dark because it looks dark in the pan but when I pick it up on the sponge like it looks okay but when I actually tap it into my skin so this is with the setting powder this was no setting powder it actually is not that dark it actually is brightening it just in the pan I guess maybe because the packaging is so light like especially compared to the lid it looks dark I guess you can see it like that it's really not like it's really is a brightening pink which is <laughs> So good because I was really scared I was going to come out of this video looking like a pink monster of some sort. Like a peep. <laughs> but it looks okay. So I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face normally. So the rest of the face I just use a regular powder brush. I really just set under here because I don't want any creasing. I don't want my concealer to be locked down because like my biggest insecurity about my makeup is always my under eye circles. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of product and go ahead and set the rest of my face. And we will see. I'm actually just going to set this side. So my under eyes in this side are set, but I will leave this in my forehead without setting powder for a second. So you guys can see if there's any difference as far as blurring and perfecting. So I'm doing this side of my lips and chin, this side of my nose, and then only this side of my forehead. So I can tell it looks softer. I'm actually shocked. So this is just a regular brightening setting powder. But it says it's for a flawless complexion and genuinely so like on this side of my nose and under here nothing is set or my forehead it, it's hard to tell on camera but i feel like i look a little more blurred on this side where everything is set down but not in like an overly powdery or cakey looking way because some powders can be really heavy on the skin so um so far so good i'm gonna go ahead and re set the rest of my face do my contour blush and highlighter and then we'll see what it looks like but as of right now, like, it looks good. And I was really worried it was going to be too pink. Now, under here where I do have, like, my actual skin tone coming through, I am very pink naturally. <laughs> like, I'm very cool toned. More of a pink than, like, a yellow based skin. So I do look a little pink in those areas, but that doesn't matter. As long as my under eyes don't look super, like, psh, pink, we should be fine. And honestly, here is my entire face set now. We can see my skin. It looks really good. So let's do the contour highlight and blush. And then I'll show you what it looks like. So here is my skin now that everything is on my face. It actually looks really good. I was worried that maybe this powder would be like too much in the air. Like, you know, you get things that are too finely milled and they're everywhere all over your desk. I didn't have that issue with this. It was light and fluffy, but not too finely milled where it's just like, because I have that issue sometimes. This actually was very nice and fluffy and didn't make a mess anywhere. And then sometimes when you get setting powders and you set your under eyes and everything, it looks heavy. This really doesn't. It looks clear and pretty and nice. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face now and see if it like even like makes it look prettier so there's no excess powder. And for my lips, this is the Tarte Mist, by the way. For my lips, I'm actually going to use the Jaclyn Hill thing that we got in like the Valentine's Day mystery box. So this is called Committed. It is a liquid lipstick. And I'm going to put this one on. I was thinking about doing the darker one, but I find the darker liquid lipstick a little streaky. Okay, so fitting along with the Jaclyn Powder Review, this is the Jaclyn Liquid Lipstick in Committed, which I did try on when I unboxed the... Or I did unboxing of the Jaclyn Hill mystery box, and then I did 
a like testing of these products so i've already tried this on before and it's very comfortable i know some people said liquid lipsticks like her new ones that are not in those mystery boxes now are uncomfortable this one to me feels fine but i'm also really used to liquid lipsticks so it doesn't bother me but overall let's talk about the powder so for the price i'm not mad at the powder's price and it shipped really really fast which was great it shipped after like two days which is awesome and then i had it within the week so honestly i really like how the powder looks it's not too too pink which i was worried of but it does have enough pink where it could color correct a little bit for you if you need that kind of thing which i feel like i do for my certain undertones a lot of things come off super yellow for me so having a pink or a purple option is great because a lot of times setting powders make my under eyes look real yellow and it's not fitting for my skin tone but this actually fits really well i know a lot of people were saying that it doesn't work for deeper complexions which i could totally see that however it is still i mean it's not it's not good for deeper complexions i get it it's still better than a lot of other lines as far as setting powders because most setting powders either have like a translucent which is way too yellow and dark for a lot of us with a pale complexion or they have like a deep option as well which is just a warm honey color so if you're deeper complexion with a cool tone you don't really have an option there either or if you're fair with a cool tone a lot of things are just way too yellow so i like having more options here as far as my own personal use other people can draw their own complexions or own their own opinions on what works best for their complexion of course and i don't know it looks really good like my skin looks really nice today it looks really pretty i mean i do also love this foundation like the ColourPop foundation is great but like it looks really good and the lipstick's very comfortable too. So overall, my thoughts on Jacqueline's stuff so far, the blushes looked pretty underwhelming. The blushes were not something I would personally buy. The highlighter shades on the duos with those blushes things were like okay. But like the high, the pressed highlighters, the loose, high, the loose highlighter was kind of a bummer for me. The pressed highlighter, the liquid lipsticks, the lip liners look really nice too. The setting powder is really nice. And I'm like excited to see what she comes out with next. Like, I want her to come out with those nice limited edition highlighter palettes she had like last year. They look really pretty. I wanted to try them. So if she came back with something like that, I think it'd be a really good seller for her. And also congratulations, Jacqueline, on being an Ulta. That's really cool. So I know she gets a lot of flack. I know she's like the queen of always being in trouble on the internet. But she never does anything like too horribly bad. I mean, I feel like the vault collection and the the lipsticks were bad but i feel like she had enough bullying on the internet from that and i also recently saw her video about like people bullying her and talking crap about her for gaining weight on the internet and stuff and fuck y'all for saying that like honestly leave her face alone she looks great and i really love her eye looks her eye looks look so pretty i ran across a eye look that she did uh last week and i was like mm, no, 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 that's really good it's really good so anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video let me know what you think of this powder down below i mean it's kind of hard to do a powder review so i did throw in like what i was doing to my face along the way but it looks really nice i'll do a little bit of wear time test and if it does anything weird i'll let you know at the end so if you don't see anything after this clip it lasted really good